<laughs> you ready? Mm-hmm. Hey, welcome to Snackdown. I'm Justin, and this is... Andy! Yay! Woo. And today is a drink week, and it's going to be a, a little different this week, I think. Yeah. It's a drink week and definitely won't be a stink week. <laughs> mm-hmm. What do you mean by stink week? Like a bad... Like an off week? I don't know. Remember those couple episodes that we did in the past and we just deleted them because they were so awful? <laughs> yeah. No, we've never done that. No, we haven't done that. We just kind of push out whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're like, well, that was bad. <laughs> Upload. <laughs> if we had to experience it, you did too. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I was talking to Andy and I was like, we've been on a cocktails cake for a while and I kind of want to do something different. We have some ideas for doing different things but it's going to be easier to do that when we get back together it's yeah kinda hard to do what we want to do separate so right now we're going to do canned alcoholic drinks of sorts or kind of <laughs> canned cocktails one is maybe a canned watery drink <laughs> uh no no i don't think so i don't, I don't know if i would call them canned cocktails so i don't know what you would call them just I, canned I, drinks i think they are all canned cocktails and i think we'll kind of dive into why yeah. But I, I think to start off, we're going to do one that is, there's no argument about it. It's a canned cocktail. This is definitely a canned cocktail. Right, right. Do you think if you mix alcohol into something else, that makes it a cocktail? Uh, what are the, what's the definition of cocktail? Maybe we should look that uh, up. What is, are you looking it up? <laughs> Please look it up. A cocktail is an alcoholic mixed drink, which is either a combination of spirits or one or more spirits mixed with other ingredients, such as fruit, juice, flavored syrup, or cream. So it just so has to basically be liquor. A spirit, yeah. a spirit mixed with something else. So if you are really slow at drinking your scotch on the rocks and there a little bit of water mixes in, it becomes a cocktail. I right? don't. No. <laughs> I, don't I guess it, it didn't list water in the things that. Water. Was, uh, yeah, water probably yeah. doesn't qualify. It said fruit juice and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, open this thing and get into it and then we'll. So this is Cayman Jack Cuban Mojito. Mm. And I'm going to open this and see if it has a fizz. Nope. <laughs> yeah, mine was pretty... Um, uneventful. <laughs> uneventful, yeah. It's got some carbonation in it. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. It's, it's, it's mild, very mild carbonation. Smells like lemon juice and uh, mint. Lime? Or lime, lime juice and mint, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Yeah, it is. So we've done a mojito before, and the base alcohol in a mojito is... White rum! Yeah, and uh, I don't really taste the rum in this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, well, I, I do a tiny bit, but I would say my guess is with these cocktail drinks that the flavor of the liquor is mm-hmm. going to be probably subdued. Yeah. So this drink is only 5.8%, mm-hmm. which means the amount of rum that's in it is probably minimal. Uh, Yeah, I would think so. I would say it's tasty. You know, you're not going to get that f- totally fresh mint flavor, but it, it it's made with mojito mint. So that's pretty mm-hmm. cool. It's really good. I think this is like uh, something I could drink out on the beach. We talked about this when we did the canned wine, and I feel the same way about at least the first two sips that I've had of this. It's the very like summer outside porch or beach drink. I will tell you though, I feel like some of the canned wine was a little drier or like a little yeah. less uh, glommy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> glommy? Gl- it's like glomming to my uvula. <laughs> Like like it's a little thick, like syrupy kind of. Yeah, syrupy. That's the yeah. right word. How do they get uvula but not syrupy? <laughs> how do, <laughs> yeah, how do they not remember that word? It also it definitely has more carbon. I guess when we were doing mojitos, you float it with a little club soda. You float it with a little club soda, but this is a lot more almost like a soda type of carbonation, like mm-hmm. a sprite. It feels more like because mm-hmm. I just took a big sip of it and then kind of had a hiccup from the carbonation. Very nice. I could drink this too much, like too fast. Because <laughs> it's, yeah, it tastes kind of like a little bit like a soda, like a lemon lime soda with a little hint of mint. A little mint hint. It's hint o mint. I think we said that last time. <laughs> Was it a hint back? Then? I said hint o mint. I think. Oh really? Can we uh, dive back? No, I'm kidding. We're not going to make you do that. <laughs> and a hint of mojito flavor, which I do taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like a little, like a it's, hint of mint. It's right? good. Yeah, a little mint hint. <laughs> <laughs> With Hinto the, mint. <laughs> yeah, apostrophe <laughs> mint. Yeah. Hinto. Um, this is this is very good though. I would. Um, I mean, I don't. So I don't think that um, making a mojito is super difficult. This would be definitely a beach or lawnmower drink if yeah, you want to sure. 
if you wanted a mojito, but you didn't want to like make a couple of them or have it with someone else. And this so, one comes in a glass container. It's pretty fancy. Yeah, yeah, it's in like it's in a glass bottle, and it's in kind of like um uh kind of like a squatty, you know, sort of beer bottle looking shape, like almost mm-hmm. like uh, with red stripe, similar similar bottle shape. And it's got gators on the bottle. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's Cayman because uh, it's Cayman Jack. Nice. What I don't is know it? if a Cayman is a alligator or a crocodile, or uh, if it's its own thing. I no, it's got to it's got to be attributed to one. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we finished each other's sandwiches. Um. <sighs> so just just so everyone knows, this is gonna be a fun episode because we're this is the first time we're gonna do three drinks. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I guess is we did more than two on like the Halloween episode, unlike those special edition episodes. Mm-hmm. But so so the Cayman, like the reptile that we were thinking of, is C A I M A N. Uh, whereas the one that, you know, the spelling for the other one is C-A-Y-M-A-N. They misspelled it. <laughs> so it's it's considered to be a alligatorid crocodilian. What the hell? That doesn't help at all. <laughs> they f- didn't know either. Yeah. Anyway, so it's in Mexico, Central, and Northern South America in swamps and marshes. Do, so do you have the bottle with you here? I don't. Sorry. It says here, it says flavored ale okay plus... <laughs> and like uh like well o- like, like it's oklahoma? a plus sign but i didn't know if it was flavored ale oklahoma that can't be no but what is flavored ale okay i'm googling that so okay but plus is the tax stamp applied to strong beer imported into oklahoma by wholesale distributors higher taxes are levied so it's saying it's a flavored ale and so if you're in oklahoma it's that plus tax yeah. Interesting. Well, we learned something about Oklahoma tax. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Anyone else have any questions? <laughs> right in. Um, yeah, so it's snowing. You and I were able to get together for a little bit yesterday. We were. We went. I went out to see Andy from a distance. We, we waved. <laughs> <laughs> he saw me from a distance. I didn't know he was there. <laughs> it was, was it was creepy. <laughs> he was looking out of his window and I was in the trees. <laughs> and, and and Justin was softly singing, God is watching us. And then the snow started to fall. And I <laughs> thought at first that the snow was ash. <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, I thought the world was ending. No, Andy was smoking some beef jerky and I thought maybe like plumes of ash were coming out and i'm like andy this isn't snow it's ash and andy's like it's snow and i'm like oh <laughs> i'm like we're we're hours into smoking you're not gonna find ash just spewing out of the exhaust <laughs> um but yeah yeah i forgot to give you some of that beef jerky it was well i'm not i'm not gonna say i forgot to give it to you because it was just wasn't done at that point you but thought about it and then said i forget <laughs> <laughs> honestly so we got done making it and I've got a much larger smoker. It's like a 20, 22 inch diameter smoker. Mm. And um, so I got done making the beef jerky and it was like, there wasn't that much. It's just, it, like, you know, two sheets worth of those heights and it's like, it's all gone. You ate it all? No, it's not all gone. Oh. But like, I mean, by the, you know, it's not going to last the, long. That's the problem that I've found with beef jerky is even the pack, you know, the packs I get from the grocery store or the gas station, it's just too small. I just want a lot more beef jerky like yeah. i want a sack you want to make a meal out of it or two yeah <laughs> beef jerky is one of those things that you like open it and then someone's like oh beef jerky could I have a piece and you're like oh come Ugh. on and then it's the biggest piece that you pull out yeah for them and then you're like uh <sighs> that's uh i think that's part of the reason why they made the viewfinding window in most yeah beef <laughs> so you can grab from the small <laughs> corner <laughs> yeah i've done that before though i've grabbed and then been like Oh, no. This is the biggest piece in the bag, but I'm going to look like a jerk if I put it back. Here's the small piece with all of its connective tissue showing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like just, stringy. It's like, yeah, it's like the bastard child of beef jerky. <laughs> so uh, so that was pretty good. I like that. I would have it's, it again. Again, uh, it's got to stay cold because it was syrupy even at, at a pretty cold temperature. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it probably had a little bit more sh- simple syrup than when we put in it when you make a real cocktail. Yeah, I would think I, so. Usually when we make uh, cocktails with simple syrup, it's a very small amount. It's kind of just to add a hint of sweetness. Mm-hmm. Um, and this seems like it was more prevalent. It was a much sweeter drink. Yeah, it's definitely sodified. Yeah, it, it really tastes like a lemon-lime soda mm-hmm. with a little bit of mint. Mm-hmm. I, I really would have enjoyed it had they done... A little less sugar. It would have been like just if, way more refreshing. So if it was a little more dry, mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, 
Did you want to you want to get into the next round? Sure. All right. Well, uh, hey, folks, uh, we will be right back. And yeah, we miss you and each other. <laughs> yeah, we really do. Someday. What? Yeah, someday soon, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, All right, yeah. We'll be back with another drink. <laughs> <laughs> that got really depressing. <laughs> I got your level of depression. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. See you in a second. All right. Bye. Hey, we're back. <laughs> okay. That was, yeah, that okay. was good. That yeah. was appropriate. Hey, we're back. And we have another drink. And this yes. is a long drink. Yes. So what does a, that mean, Andy? What is a long drink? Uh, <laughs> so it's a fin. So there's a there's a Finnish long drink. So this is a Finnish long drink. It was something that was derived for or, or you know made for uh, the 1952 Summer Olympics. Yay! Was that in Finland? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Kind of crazy, huh? So it was produced by a company by called Hartwell. And so <laughs> this this website that I'm referring to, the gin is in dot com. They say. It's the first Summer Olympics, Olympics since 1912 where medals were not awarded for art. Huh. So. I can't imagine an Olympics like art. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's a gin-based cocktail with grapefruit and uh, and strong juniper berry flavors. So, you know. They, try it. Yeah. You said try it. Was it was very, like when I poured <laughs> it into the glass, it was also very carbonated. Oh, yeah. I smell the grapefruit on the nose. I definitely smell the juniper berry on the nose. It's good. This could go down very easily. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot less sweet than the last one, which I kind of like. Mm-hmm. It's less syrupy. It's, yeah. I mean, it's it's like refreshing like a, ref- <laughs> it's refreshing like a fresca, <laughs> not yeah. a refresca, because that's not a real thing. The gin is pretty light in it. I would love to do uh, one of these at some point with like, you know, fresh ingredients. Yeah. Yep. So you can make your own at home if you don't have access to the long drink, which even Justin didn't have access to. I did not. <laughs> uh, so you can you can take Fresca and a classic gin style gin, so not nothing too fruity, and then uh, tonic. So hmm. um, four parts Fresca, three parts classic gin style gin, and then one part tonic water. Build it over ice and stir gently to combine. What are your thoughts? Good. So on on the can it says. The roots of long drinks go back to the 1952 Summer Games in Helsinki, hmm. the country of four million people, it's not a lot, was still poor and recovering from World War II. Full of pride for their country, the Finns wanted to give the athletes and tourists an unforgettable experience. I can't imagine Olympic athletes wanting to drink an alcoholic beverage right before they, like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, not right before they went, but, like, dude, I hear some crazy stories of, like, the Olympic Village just being a real romance fest. Well, I, I imagine <laughs> the... People visiting or attending the Olympics Mm-mm. would go crazy, but I feel like as an athlete, they're so healthy. Uh, you know, their their meals are regimented, their like workout. So then to like drink, like alcohol is not good. Uh, there, there used to be a sprinter. Hold on, that's weird. So it says, so they did it for the the games, and it says, however, the officials had concern how to serve drinks quickly enough to all the visitors. Mm-hmm. To solve this, they came up with a revolutionary idea of a new liquor drink. And so the first long drinks were born. What ma- what about this made it quick? Uh, quick to make? Yeah. That says a revolutionary new liquor drink. I mean, I would I would say it was if you had like all the ingredients, it was probably pretty quick, like mm-hmm. a little signature drink. You would think so, they would have called it the Finnish quick drink, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, one of the most famous people who was unhealthy and a great athlete was Jesse Owens. The sprinter. Um, Why was he unhealthy? Because he smoked a pack a day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he was a sprinter? Yeah. I don't know. That's crazy. The gold medals that he won mm-hmm. were the, was the 100 meter, the 200 meter, the 4x1, and the long jump. He got, okay, he so got, he wasn't like a long distance runner. Correct. No. Because that probably would have gotten him. Yeah. So he kind of like, I mean, you could probably technically hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So That's crazy. So you're asking about alcohol and athletes, and I'm sure a lot of athletes are drinking either a couple of days before or definitely a couple of days or definitely immediately after doing some pretty sweet jumps or something. Some jumps <laughs> or they pop out of the, the pool, and grab a long drink. This is good. I really want to make another one of these in the summertime. Yeah, this is really good. Considering um, so this it's is also five percent. This is five point five percent. So mm-hmm. considering it's snowing, um it's kind of a little off-putting right it is 
So I actually bought a, uh, I, I bought a growler of a milk stout today, <laughs> just because it's kind of how the weather's going. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, all right, so here's an off question. No. Are you one to keep a bucket list, and what are your top three? Um, I don't have like a big bucket list. I'm sure I do. I just, um, I kind of play more short game, I guess. I don't have like a ton of like lifetime bucket lists other than move yeah. south. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> one large piece of paper with one <laughs> sentence on it and a checkbox. <laughs> yeah, technically a town south is south, but no, I'm, I'm yeah. going, we're going many states, many zip codes and area codes. Would you um, move back to Maryland? Uh-uh. Further. Are you not a Maryland guy further? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I like Maryland. It's just um, if, if we want to get that real that real pop, that real kazooie, that real... The sizzle on the skin of the <laughs> summer sun. That real bim zam boom. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't real sayings. That people... <laughs> <laughs> but they will be when you move south. Yeah, they sure will. If I move south and into the 1930s. <laughs> All of you southerners that are listeners, if you say bim zam boom, let us know. And if not, also let us know, please. So that that's it. That's the one. That's the one thing on your list. Well, that and like so this summer, obviously, I wanted to climb outdoors, and that's still on the list. It's just kind of highly dependent on the cultural climate. Yeah, that's <laughs> so. true. What about you? I don't know. I, we talked about this once. I want to go on a hot air balloon because we had talked about that on an old episode about us going up and snacking in a hot air balloon. I think. How high up do you want to go on the hot air balloon? I don't know. I just want to go on a hot air balloon ride. I think that'd be fun. Like hanging above the earth in a wicker basket. Do you want to go like a hundred feet or four hundred feet or I don't know the exact distance. Just a normal hot air balloon ride. Probably higher than a hundred feet. That's not that. Like tethered or an untethered? Untethered. Okay. You know, it, I mean, I, I should ask the person next time they swoop their hot air balloon near my house. But um, I'm sh- I'm sure you could get a balloon ride. You can. You just have to pay. I just got to find this place. So my number two is I've always wanted to pie someone in the face. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> and not like a cherry or apple pie. I'm talking like a cartoon cream pie. You know, uh-huh. those like the meringue pies or yep, yeah, gotcha. like ba- banana pie. Uh, why? I don't know. It just seems like fun. It seems real fulfilling to just splat. <laughs> not be pied. I want to pie someone. Um, do you want to hear how much um, a balloon ride is? Yeah. How much? For two people, $700. Ugh. For a 45 to 60 minute flight. For you and that special someone alone, obviously this would be like the snack down thing, right? Yeah. For that special person alone with the pilot. But the cost of a regular flight is 250 How many people mm-hmm. can you fit in a hot air balloon? I'd it say if it was like you and me, then it would be like maybe one other person and then him. Four, yeah. I four think seems four is like, the max. Um, yeah. I say what we do is buy a Zoom, start recording, and that pilot and the other person are just subject to our podcast at that yeah. point. And then I'll surprise pie the pilot in the face and knock two bucket list items off and then the third bucket list which would be, would be parachuting <laughs> yeah <laughs> how do you fly this thing uh, and, and the pilot's just like actually it's called floating it's an industry term so when i was um when we were younger we did a cross-country like road trip with my family mm-hmm when we were in, we were staying in Colorado, and we woke up outside of our hotel. There was like a balloon, kind of like a balloon fest. They just okay. had a bunch of hot air balloons, and we went down there and were looking, you know, at them blowing them up and everything. They had these like big fans, and they asked us to help. And so there's like a picture of my brother holding this big fan, blowing up a hot air balloon. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, are you ready for some uh... balloon terms? Yeah. <laughs> What do you call someone who's a fan of hot air balloons? Uh, balloon addict. That's very close. It's a balloonatic. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh. F- fanatic balloon enthusiasts. What, I feel like uh, that's a really good instant messenger name. Oh, yeah. B- um, balloonatic 420. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a cremation Charlie is someone who sacrifices himself during a flap inflation to stand inside the envelope and hold it up so that no valuable ripstop gets burnt. A, a cremation Charlie. That also sounds like a drink, possibly. Yeah. Or... Uh, so, so the baskets are also um, called gondolas. Interesting. Yeah. It's like an air gondola. So my brother was blowing air with the fan past the cremation Charlie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is it a cremation Charlie? I don't know. That sounds real morbid. Uh, and th- that's the, those are the cool ones. Anyway, so, oh, um, no, 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 oh my gosh. Here's this one. It's called the Hesitation Waltz. 
a competition mm-hmm. where multiple judge declared goals are set. The hesitation waltz. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have some music for the hesitation waltz? So that was the sound of a hesitation waltz. <laughs> One, two, cool. three. Not sure. Right. Not sure. Right. <laughs> um, uh, let's, let's get into. Let's so go. I've just been uh, going back and forth between these two drinks because I've still got some. Oh, yeah. And, that's uh, the. When I go back to the Cayman Jack, it's mm-hmm. definitely a lot sweeter. And syrup, syrupier. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit thicker. Yeah. As Andy would say, it sticks to the uvula. <laughs> It's a real uvula sticker, as we say <laughs> in Snackdown terminology. <laughs> uh, well, all you balloonatics, are you ready for the last drink? I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hop in our balloon and head back to the Caribbean. We're just a couple of cremation charlies, and we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, if you like what you hear every week, and you're looking to support Snackdown, one of the best ways is just telling your friends. You can also send us suggestions on social media. We always like that. Another way people have supported us is by sending us snacks in the mail. The newest way you can support is going to our Patreon page, www.patreon.com snackdown. And by doing that, you can get early day releases to episodes. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for listening. Back to the episode. And... Nosotros... Aquí! <laughs> Swaza. Nope. Uh, Sousa. <laughs> Swaza. <laughs> Sousa. It sounds like wowza or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on the last drink here. And this is a tequila-based drink, which we I just realized we're doing rum, gin, and tequilas. That's kind of cool. Wow, that sounds like a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Saza. Okay. So- what did you Sousa. I, I call it Sousa. So this but- is Sousa Aqua Fierte. Spiked sparkling uh, water. Fuerte? F-U-E-R-T. R-T-E. Fuerte. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is spiked sparkling water with salsa tequila, and it has grapefruit, so it's going to be a little bit similar to the last one. All these have looked very similar in the glass, but this one is probably the most clear. Yeah, it's the clearest, um, and I think it this one tastes or smells most like the base alcohol, right? This is tequila. It's got a very strong tequila smell to it. I don't have a. I have a very faint tequila smell. What? And then I just smell grapefruit. Oh no! How wrong you are. <laughs> are you drinking yours with ice, or are you just drinking yours straight? Straight. Oh, see, I've had all mine with ice, so maybe that's why. In the same glass with ice? Have you been washing your glasses out? Yeah, I got new ice and new glass. But maybe like when the water starts melting, it kind of like. Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. Here, let's have a little. Let's have a little sippy poo. So that tastes like like a seltzer water, kind of. Damn it. I got bamboozled by the salesman. <laughs> so I've seen a lot of these spiked water drinks. They're kind of a new thing. There's a whole bunch of White them at the grocery store. And every I always think they're that. kind of gimmicky and silly. If you want your water with alcohol, yeah. I don't know. Just have your, keep your alcohol with your alcohol and your water with your water, I guess. I don't know. It yeah, just seems you, kind yeah of, it, you're, you're kind of ain't welcome around here. It just Well, it just seems like, a, like <laughs> it's kind of like healthy. Like you can drink water, but also like be drinking alcohol at the same time i don't know it just seems kind of like a play on like all those people that like seltzer water to yeah. add a, like a little pizzazz to it but i feel like i don't know it's just kind of silly agreed so this was sold to me as essentially like a paloma this is not a paloma not even close i mean it it's a weak paloma i mean paloma is grapefruit soda tequila yeah. and i think a little bit of lime juice Ooh. We did a Paloma on the podcast, but we added squid ink to ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now but I remember. A cla- <laughs> but a classic Paloma has grapefruit soda, tequila, and one other thing. I can't think of what it is. Squid ink. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> tequila, lime juice, and a grapefruit flavored soda such as Fresca, Squirt, or Jaritos. And yeah, served so was, on the yeah, rocks right. with a lime wedge. Yeah, adding so salt. lime juice. Yep. And adding salt to the room of the glass is also an option. So I don't taste lime juice, and it doesn't really say it has lime juice. No, uh, this this is this is truly the salesman, the work of the salesman. Um, this is fine. I mean, it's not bad. We're saying I'm not saying it's like gross. It does taste like a slightly grapefruit seltzer water with tequila. I I do taste the tequila and smell the tequila. Yeah, I can taste the tequila slightly. 
Try a small dram of just straight tequila right now. You want me to get straight tequila right now? I mean, just a tiny bit. Just to kind of like, you know? All right. I'll be right you back. Don't ha- you don't have to. Are you doing it for the pod? Yeah, I'll do it for the pod. Sick. Hmm? <laughs> All right. So I got some flair tequila. This is Blanco tequila from Mi Campo. I'll just do a little bit. Now you want me to try this? <laughs> yeah. Give it a good smell and then give it a good like taste and. Yeah, there's underlying tequila flavor. <laughs> oh my god! Not the way it went. Not the way I wanted it to go. <laughs> it's still very, very hidden in there. I think uh, it might be because I have ice. Honestly, I highly doubt that that's the case. But we'll just go. With I that taste it. So it has the water that's in it is obviously carbonated, and then yeah. the you know it's the grapefruit slight, the tequila slight. And it's five percent, so it's similar to the other two that we were having. Mm-hmm. So the 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 selling point on the can is it's got one hundred and twelve calories and it has no artificial sweeteners. So I want to look at the other ones here. The finished one. Uh, they is like, don't. They don't even say. They don't say what. They don't have any like nutritional facts on it. Did you ever play uh, the game Katamari? No. Do you know what it is? No. You like this little creature, and you're you basically have this like tiny little ball with you, and you have to you're able to roll smaller things up onto the ball and they stick but if you try to roll a bigger thing than the ball it uh bounces and a lot a lot of the stuff that you've kind of accumulated just bounces or like they fall off the goal is to just roll up a ton of stuff so you start out with like paper clips and thumbtacks and stuff like that and you move up to you know, i don't know a coffee cup or whatever and then and then like it eventually like turns into like buildings that you're rolling up <laughs> on this like <laughs> world like huh. it's kind of a weird fun game huh oh really did you ever play the super nintendo game a boy and his blob Sure did not. <laughs> it's like a little blob that follows you, and you feed it colored jelly beans. Uh-huh. And based on what color jelly bean you feed your blob, it turns into something. And it was uh, kind of like uh, a puzzle type game. So like, if you fed it like a say a green jelly bean, it would turn into like a ladder. Uh. <laughs> no, I never played that. But you know, kind of during that time when you were interested in that type of stuff, I was um, studying to be a balloonatic. Nice. So, if you're a balloon tech, you got to take me up on the balloon. We talked about this on a snack now. I don't remember what it was. We talked about snacking in a balloon. But the real thing I wanted to talk about was the, the pie in the face. So, if anyone wants to step step up and... Get pied the, in the be face? The, be the victim of my pie. <laughs> Where did this stem from? How long has this been like a dream of yours? Years. Like since you so, were prepubescent? At one point, when <laughs> I worked with Katie, uh-huh. she volunteered. Uh huh. But then when when it got into the planning stages, like when I was like, all right, let's buy the pie, she then it started down. to fall apart. <laughs> Just like the pie would. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Started to fall apart in what sense? And like it seemed like she wasn't as interested anymore. <laughs> okay, so here's here's what I'll do. We'll set some sort of weird goal on Patreon or something like that. Or in terms of likes or That could goal. be our first Patreon goal. When we reach it, I pie you in the face. I'm okay with that. Watch your ass just like put a bunch of money onto Patreon and be like, uh, I'm a supporter. It's <laughs> just all me. Yeah. <laughs> like a thousand in. different emails. <laughs> yeah. Balloon okay. Balloonatic one, balloonatic two, balloonatic three. Yeah. <laughs> Cremation <laughs> Charlie seven. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I will do that. If you set a goal, I will completely do that i don't know what i don't know like 10 subscribers 15 subscribers how about 20 how about a full 20 20 20 patrons yeah get your friends to sign up on patreon any we'll dollar give amount. a dollar or two yeah and, and justin will pie, will pie me in, in the, the face. face and we'll make a video of it and we'll put some like hilarious music you know and then like the rewind and like the do again yeah <laughs> Real, like, British comedy television uh, yeah. goofball music going on in the background. If it is during COVID times, you would be within the six-foot rule. And I'd have to throw I, the pie. <laughs> you'd either have to throw it or I'd be, I'd be wearing a face mask. Or you could lay down and I could be on the roof and i just drop it on your What face. roof are we talking about? You're really, I don't know. You're like, there I am, on the gondola of the hot air balloon, dropping a pie on Andy from 200 feet in the air. Well, one, no, it would have, well to, another... have to wait till the COVID thing was over because I really want to. I need the urge of like me putting it into someone's face. Wow, you're getting real sadistic here. <laughs> All uh... right, but but I, I I will agree to twenty people. Tell your friends, everyone, and really only just sign up for a month. 
It's just, it's just <laughs> and basic. that will cover the cost of the pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Well, so let's talk about, you know, I, I guess at the beginning of this episode, we didn't even really mean to to kind of pause it. Like, what what is cocktailness? What makes a cocktail, right? Like, yeah. are all of these going to be cocktails? And, uh, you know, I, I would say objectively, maybe most of these, maybe all of these are considered cocktails. But mm-hmm. I would say, uh, personally, I believe the first two are certainly cocktails. And the last one is definitely not a cocktail. Yeah, it I is, wouldn't consider it a cocktail. It is a Mexican white claw, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. It's it definitely a, a... It's a claw blanco, if yeah. you will. It's a grapefruit seltzer that they added a little tequila into. Yeah. Um, I just want to know... I have a, a calorie app here. I wonder if these show up. Because I want to know what the calorie difference is between the, the water that says it's healthier and these. So this has a, a, a barcode scanner. I bet the long drink has 260 calories in it. And I'm going to guess that the, that the Kim and Jack one has 410. So the long drink, 100 milliliters, the so serving size, how much is in this? Uh, 300. At 100, there's 55 calories. So that would put it at 165 calories? No, that's bullshit. <laughs> There's no way. If that's the case, it's not that much worse than the water one, though. There's completely no way that that's possible. I mean, it's definitely on the drier side, and it's not as sweet as the Cayman Jack, but there's a long drink zero that you can get, and that has 92 calories in it. So the Cuban Mojito, the Cayman Jack... Yeah, I'm curious uh, to know. 220, is that what, it's, is what it says? Oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was way off. But I don't think it was any surprise that Cayman Jack had the highest calories. No, it's got all that sugar in it. Yeah, it's chock full of sugar, which isn't bad, right? But just, yeah. you know, in moderation, right, guys? So if these are correct, the long drink isn't that much worse than the water. Right. I'm just trying to disprove the water alcohol fad. So, <laughs> so from, you know, like Fresca is the original diet drink. So that, that actually wouldn't surprise me. Mm-hmm. Um, never mind. These were all very good. I was very disappointed in the tequila one because I do like tequila. So you think it was very good, though? Uh, I was disappointed in them. Um, what? <laughs> you said they were all very good. I was very disappointed with the... Uh, they were all very good, except... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the Salsa one. It was It was fine. If someone handed it to me at a party and that's all that was left, of course I would sip on it. I'm like, yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm one to kind of snub my nose up. Yeah, if someone said, here, try this new seltzer water... I would have been like, oh, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And then I would have been like, why am I getting a headache? It's tequila. But <laughs> Does tequila give you a headache? Um, a lot of times, yeah. I kind of have one right now. The For some <laughs> reason, if it's better tequila, it doesn't. I don't know what that is. Um, what was your favorite out of all of these? It's a tough one. I'm, I'm going to say the long drink just because it's not as sweet. But I really liked the Cayman Jack. And I feel like in the right setting, I think I would take that. Like if it was a hot summer day, sometimes beach drinks are sweet drinks. Yeah. I, like a lot of the island drinks we've had are very sweet, you know, like the pina colada and the mm-hmm. rock lobster and those types of things. The Bahama Mama, they're very sweet drinks. And I feel like the Cayman Jack, a normal mojito doesn't fall in the that sweet, but this Cayman Jack one just kind of is on the high, it's on the higher end. Yeah, it's on the higher it's sweeter side. Too. And I think if I was on a hot beach or something like that, I think I would like this sweet drink. But I think unobjectively like not taking in seasons or moods i think the long drink is a, just a better drink mm-hmm. i mean i would be curious uh and, and we should definitely maybe we'll make maybe we'll have the long drink with a food episode we've kind of you know we've had it you know so and i don't think it's something that's uh that would just like blow our minds if we just made it again yeah. um but I, I think if we could you know maybe pair that with a food episode that would be fun yeah the mixture of grapefruit and gin i think is a cool mixture like the grapefruit and juniper berry I like grapefruit as a mix in cocktails just because it has a weird dry taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's got a bite to it. It's still citric, but it's it's definitely drier. It it definitely lends itself to piney flavors, too. Yeah, it's piney, it's tart, it's dry. I don't know. It's got pizzazz, it's got some crackle. (laughs) Jamboozle. I don't know what you said. (laughs) Jamboozle? That sounds like a booze party. That sounds like an alcohol party. That sounds like a place where a lot of people play music and drink a lot of alcohol. Yeah, Jamboozle 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Stay at home, Jamboozle 2020. <laughs> That's great. Um, well, anyway, yeah, I thought I would I would have to agree. The, I would say the long drink is probably my favorite out of all of these. Wow. So I, I went from the Sousa, the water one, back to the long drink just to taste it. 
And mm-hmm. it's a lot sweeter going back to that because the salsa is very water. You know, salsa water is it's, the main Let's taste. be real. It's just water. It's, just, it's water. just water. Yeah, it's a water with a faint taste of grapefruit. So I went back to the long drink and it is sweet. Now I'll try the Cayman. I've got all these. <laughs> so I, I, I split I split Woo! mine with Gallon, but uh, so I was able yeah, so to... Andy has to take care of kids, so he can't have three drinks. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad, why are you walking worse than our youngest child? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, these were good. Yeah, I'll try these again. This kind of reminds me of the the nineteen eleven canned drinks that we did, the ciders. Kind of. I would say I would say those drinks were better. Yeah, those were definitely better. Um, they just were w- better blended drinks, and I feel like maybe that's because they were made with like fresh. I don't know. It, Spect- it tasted like fresh ingredients. Made with fresh ghosts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ghosts. Maybe that's what it was. You're like They're, it was. The, it was way better. The, it had this like almost spectral taste. <laughs> Ectoplasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't cross streams. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe that's what it was. The five generations constantly stirring the drink. Yeah. Adding the bubbly, staring at you. That's not carbonation. That's ghosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I um, think these are more readily available for everyone. You mm-hmm. know, the 1911 drinks were very Syracuse. I don't know how far-reaching 1911 is. You can find them pretty broadly regionally, I guess. In New York. Yeah, in New York. You can find um, them pr- probably probably even downstate you could find them. Yeah. But, I mean, this finished drink you'll definitely find in the UK probably. And it's easily reproducible. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah. All these are pretty re- It's got legend to it. Well, I... I this was fun, you know. I mean, like we, you know, you see, you see lots of things popping up like this at, at uh, liquor stores and grocery stores alike, and um, I think it was a, uh, it was a good dip into it, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different kinds. It was a real Consumer Reports episode. <laughs> yeah. You want to play us out, Sam? Sam. You're like play it again, Sam. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bim yeah. Zamboozle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening today. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can find this episode and others like it on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and a bunch of other places. You can support us on our Patreon site at patreon.com slash snackdown. You can go to our website at www.snackdownpod.com, and you can call us at 315-313-5456 and leave us a message. Give us a suggestion of stuff you want to see us eat or drink. Tell us a funny story, whatever you want. Um, we welcome that. That'd be great. We like to hear from you guys. And if Give you join, if you join Patreon, yeah, if for, you join for, Patreon, tell your friends. And if we hit enough people, just kind of cl- cluster it in. Everyone, just kind of talk amongst yourselves. Hit that twenty mark, and then uh, Justin will pie me in the face. Yeah, I will pie Andy in the face to fulfill my dreams. <laughs> and then I'm asking you to unsubscribe from Patreon at that point. <laughs> Maybe we maybe we kind of pair that with a pie episode too. Yeah, because we've always been talking about a pie episode. Yeah, so we'll save the pie episode for maybe the we pie can, in the face. But I'm not going to pie sweet. you in. I'm not going to pie you with one of Kalen's pies because those are good pies. Yes, they're damn good pies. Yeah, but that's a waste if, of. A but good if pie. I had to eat a pie off of my own face, I would love for it to be Kalen's pie. Uh, so here, here's a, <laughs> if the pie is coming at your face. Right? Yeah, would I flinch? You've got yeah. You have a flint. You have your moment to flinch. Do you open your mouth and intake some pie, or do you close ah. your mouth? Okay, so here's a couple of different things. One, I'm wearing glasses, okay? Okay. I'm going to be wearing, like, safety glasses. Safety glasses? Yeah, that's on the table. No, don't <laughs> even start with me. <laughs> okay, if we get 30 people, then One of the best parts glasses. about after the pie wipe is, like, the wiping of the eyes. You know how you, oh, like, like... <laughs> Dude, that is so foul. I... <laughs> uh, okay, safety glasses. But do okay, you so, open the mouth? Uh, so no, um, because I don't want you getting like maybe a thumb or a pinky finger in my mouth. How would I do that? I'd be holding like the tinfoil dish. Oh yeah, dish. that's true. That's yeah. true. Okay. Yeah, then I would. I would. You'd want sure. some. Yeah. I'd probably shave too pie. beforehand. You'd actually, shave. No, that that would actually kind of like uh, moisturize the beard, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So safety glasses, yes. Mouth open, yes. That's it. Drone. Okay. <laughs> Drone? <laughs> question a- mark. <laughs> Drone. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a pie preference? Uh, grape, if you got it. Grape? I feel like that would be the messiest. Okay. Pumpkin. Well, grape stains. That's the... Okay, pumpkin it is. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, thanks, guys, for listening. Uh, yeah, sweet dreams if you're listening Thanks for if, if you're sticking it through the remote episodes, thanks. Mm-hmm. And thanks for those that are supporting us in all the different ways that you can. And we will be back with you next week and let us know if you've ever had a snack down related dream 
That would make my freaking day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Sweet dreams to everyone. Sweet dreams. Sweet and good morning. Mornings. Sweet afternoons. The sun never sets on Snackdown. It doesn't. Take care of yourselves. <laughs> and each other. And each other. <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Furti, furti agua. 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 Agua fart. <laughs> you grew a fart. Um. Uh.